ladies and gentlemen this is fighter get knocked out y'all see it on the screen they talking about the wbo is talking about they trying to make a fight with sebastian fundora and terrence bud crawford this is madness this is mayhem what the hell are y'all talking about if anything he need to go get his get back with tim the brute zoo you won on an unfair um playing field you cracked the man's skull, hit him on a soft spot with your elbow. And then you just trying to bypass Tim the Brute Zoo like he wasn't beating your ass before that happened. The fight went all the way. He was still whooping your ass throughout the bout. You had blood in the next man's eyes. He can't see. The man is blind. And his tall ass couldn't do nothing. Oh, hell nah. You fucking with the, me. And that, and that means you're fucking with me. Look at the motherfucker pop out like a fanboy. No, I'm fanboying for the sport of boxing. Sebastian Fondora ain't he don't need to be fighting Terrence he don't need to be fighting Errol Spence Jr he need to be given a rematch to Tim Zoo hell you talking about you won on an unfair um and I quote won by an unfair advantage cracked a man in his head busted his shit was blinded all throughout the bout and you still couldn't pull off a victory with your lanky ass Tim Zoo versus Sebastian Fondora that's the next fight to be made Terrence Crawford go fight Boots um, Errol Spence, you um, go fight Brian Norman Jr. or something. <laughs> Do something else, goddammit. And I want to see Sebastian Fundora in a rematch with Tim Zoo. Y'all stop all that goofy shit. He was a champion. He gave you a shot. And as a challenger, if you take the victory on some technicalities, because the judges is tripping, and it look like we need to um, grease our palms. That's the PBZ. We got to thank Al Hayma. All that bullshit. Hell nah. Tim Zoo, he need his rematch. I don't give a damn what y'all talking about. Um, the Tower and Inferno, you know what it is. Damn the business. You become the fighter.